with the uh, MPN transistor, we have a we've got a diagram here which says <coughs> the collector, the emitter, and the base. The collector uh, effectively collects electrons. The emitter emits electrons. So the electrons go from the emitter to the collector. Don't forget that conventional current flows from the collector to the emitter. Let's have a look how it's set up. We have a depletion zone here. Initially, the base emitter voltage from here down to here, that voltage is zero. In other words, there is no difference in the energy here to here. The collector emitter voltage is also zero. Now, we're going to slow, oh, we'll have a look at uh, where the charges are. So there's an excess of holes up here. Okay. Also, this material is heavily doped and has a lot of negative charge carriers. This material is heavily doped and has a lot of negatively charged carriers. This is lightly doped base material. Okay. Let's see how it works. Don't forget that this is connected to the positive. And to start with, even though there is a positive potential being applied to this point, no current can flow to the negative here because it cannot get across this depletion zone. So we start to increase the voltage. As soon as we have a small increase, there's no flow across every spare electron in this material here, which is heavily doped with extra electrons, is attracted to the positive flow there, the positive charge that end, the positive potential, the high voltage. Similarly, the extra electrons in here are attracted to the, high, the positives here and the high voltage, but they can't get across the depletion zone. So I'll increase this bit more, the base voltage, Okay, now when we get towards about 0.6, we start to have a very, very small attraction across there. Occasionally an electron can make its way across the depletion zone and complete the circuit. So an electron making this path means a current going this path. At this stage, we have a small current flowing through the transistor. A bit more. Once we hit 0.6, we have a steady flow of positive charge uh, into the base, attracting the electrons into the depletion zone. But as soon as they're in the depletion zone, they whistle across straight away to the collector we start to have a large current flow. Let's increase it up to about 6.5. Alright, when, when the voltage across the base and emitter is above 0.6 and the voltage from the collector to emitter is present, the transistor system will fully conduct. It has no resistance at all. The flow of electricity, the, sorry, the flow of current from the collector to emitter may be many times, like hundreds of times, bigger than the flow into the base. There is a flow into the base, but it's tiny. Now when we go up to 0.7, the base is now providing all that it can provide as far as um, positives coming in here to attract the negatives across the depletion zone. Okay, so that's how it works.